Hello and welcome to Who Is Best, or in this case, Which Is Best, a show where Ilo Cladane take games that give you choices and rate those choices in a t- Wait, what's going on? Oh no. Oh please. No. Oh no. Please, just kill me now. You know what happened to you? Last time I saw you, you- Oh please. <laughs> No. <laughs> Square, what did you- holy crap, Riku is hot! Okay, so today we're looking at the dress spheres of Final Fantasy X-2. Yes, this game is silly, but much like Final Fantasy XIII, the battle system carried me through it. There are 14, eh, kind of 15 different dress spheres or jobs in this game. There are also just three party members, Yuna, Riku, and Pain. Each of these party members can have access to a certain amount of dress spheres according to which garment grid they are wearing. By equipping every dress sphere on your grid in one battle, the girls have access to a special dress sphere that is very powerful. Abilities and auto skills can cross over into other dress spheres which can... Ooh. Okay, let's just say it is very complicated. It's not hard to rate the dress spheres alone, but when considered with every tactic in the game, this list gets, well, complicated. But that's what we do here, so join us as we dive into the question, which dress sphere is best? The sh tier. Festival Goer was a dress sphere added in the international version. It's the Black Mage Light with an amazing twist. It sucks. Seriously, middling stats with complete crap tier skills make this dress sphere a steaming turd of a job. I highly recommend ignoring it like most players. You gain this dress sphere from talking to brother after the opening sequence of the game. The final member of the sh tier is the trainer. There is absolutely no reason to use this class other than it ups the difficulty of the whole game as it is utterly useless. This sphere is obtained from speaking with Kimari and the Ronzos answering the correct answers to their concerns. The low tier. The warrior is a basic class that you start out with at the beginning of the game. Early game, this class is great for both attack and defense. Sentinel especially is useful for tanking attacks. I especially like the look of this one, though it will quickly be replaced by the Samurai, Dark Knight, Psychic, and Berserk classes. The Gunner is destructive depending on what version you are using. The catnip glitch in the original game made this class one of the highest damaging dealing dress spheres in the game, but it has been nerfed in subsequent versions. Overall, it's a decent class worth a try, but nothing compared to what comes after it. This is another dress for you to start with at the beginning of the game. The Mid-Tier The Black Mage is pretty much exactly what you would expect. For the basic needs of the story, this class stays relevant throughout. So, endgame, it's going to be a very mediocre class when it comes to damage and survivability. You gain this dress here from Mount Gagazet in Chapter 1. The Samurai is my favorite looking dress here for Riku and overall a beast of a class. It's extremely versatile with damage attacks, buffs, and even self heal spells. There are other physical damage classes you will gain that outpace it, but like the Black Mage it's still useful throughout. You gain this dress here from Kilika Temple in Chapter 3. The Thief is a sexy beast of a class. First Strike lets you switch dress spheres immediately and is key in bringing out your special dress sphere as soon as possible. Its usefulness is much like Riku's in the original Final Fantasy X. It can be used to steal the best items in the game and give your team an insane advantage in late game. You start the game with this dress sphere. The Songstress is another sphere you gain in the opening hours of the game. It is horrible in battle when it comes to attack and defense, but undeniably amazing when it comes to support. Buffing party members and debuffing enemies is the name of the game when it comes to Songstress. It's a useful one to have in your back pocket for sure. The Top Tier The White Mage is a must have for your party. I recommend it for Yuna. This class is a magic damage tank that can eventually spam holy for some decent damage as well. Oh, and don't forget its healing capacity, which is off the charts. You get this class by clearing the events in Besaid in Chapter 1. The Alchemist is amazing for most of the game. It takes what made Riku broken in the first game and just dishes more on top of it. The Alchemist is your best early game healer, and if paired with two Dark Knights, makes for one of the best party builds other than the obvious one. 
Late game, the mix ability becomes king as the alchemist can use miracle drink to just break the game completely. You get this dress here from clearing the fiends in the monster arena in the calm lands. The Gun Mage, better known as the Blue Mage, can potentially be your best support class period. This class can learn enemy skills. Once you have obtained Mighty Guard, White Wind, Heaven's Cataract, and Annihilator, you have one of the best classes in the game. You get this class from helping Tobli. The final member of the top tier is the Berserker, <laughs> which is just badass. From its looks to its attacks, these gals are just beasts. Evade Encounter alone drives this class to the top tier but add an ability to double HP and dispel negative elements along with the signature skill Berserk, and you can just let the job run wild. You get this Dress Sphere from clearing out the fiends in Makalania Travel Agency. The God Tier Lady Luck is your super boss killer slash number one support class when it comes to leveling and gill grinding. Manipulating the quote unquote random abilities just push this gal over the edge. The crit damage alone this class produces is just phenomenal. It takes practice and research to figure out how to use this class right, but it is well worth it. Defeat Shinra in a game of Sphere Break to gain this class. The Dark Knight makes this game boring. It's so powerful and straightforward that you'll find yourself on auto drive once you gain it. This class sacrifices HP to do damage, but with the right support this is no problem. It can hit single and multiple targets and basically just cream all the enemies. It's also nearly impossible to kill with its insane defense stats. The Dark Knight is a must for an endgame team, period. The final member of the god tier is the Psychic. Not only is their outfits amazing, but the Psychic is impossible to kill. This is a god tier class if one ever existed. Amazing stats, skills, auto abilities, and mobility make this class the best in the game. Well almost the best, but take out the obvious and this is a must have. The crazy thing is, all you have to do to obtain it is clear the standard fiend cup, so you can get it from the very beginning. Absolutely insane. And that's my list. I hope... What? Oh, yeah, I'm, I missed a sphere. Right. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll talk about it. Um, I'm gonna need another tier. The Broken Tier. The Mascot. Is this a surprise? Though a late game class, the Mascot is leagues ahead of anything else that comes before it. Each one is different dependent on the character. Yuna's is a healing focused class with Warrior and Dark Knight abilities to accompany it. Riku's is probably the worst of the three, though still far better than anything else in the game. It is pretty much built to be the jack of all trades with a focus on support and AOT damage. Pain's Mascot is the best dress sphere in the game. There's no debate. Samurai and Black Mage abilities with a focus on debuffs and single target damage. Yeah, she's the queen. And that's my list. Don't be a stranger in the comments. Let me know what your favorite dress fears were and your team builds. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bonus round, top 10 fashionable ladies. Number 10, Gunner Yuna. Number nine, Festival Gore Pain. Number eight, Thief Riku. Number seven, Dark Knight Pain. Number six, Lady Luck Yuna. Number five, Black Mage Pain. Number four, Warrior Yuna. Number three, Psychic Riku. Number two, Gun Mage Pain. And number one, Samurai Riku.